Hi, I'm Alicia, and in this video, I'm going to cover important information on getting white to print on your components, as well as using transparencies. This is essential for components like mint tins, clear cards, acrylics, and printed dice. First, make sure to grab the template for the component you're designing for. In this video, I'm going to use a mint tin template. These examples will work on anything on the site that you can print with white on. Go ahead and save your template and open it in the image editor of your choice. For this video, I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can use any image editor that has layers and can save as a PNG. When designing your image, for areas that you want to be clear or have no printing, you'll want to either use a transparency or you'll want to use pure white. Let's look at this first example. In this example, you can see I have no image or color in this area over here and between the letters. It's transparent. That's going to print with nothing there. This will allow the metal of the mint tin to show through. You can also use a pure white. Pure white is this really high top corner or hex code FFFFFF. Anywhere you have that color will not print anything. However, to ensure a crisper edge, I recommend not using any color at all if able. Now, if there are areas that you want to print white, like in this example for the text, you're going to want to use an off-white. The hex code for the best off-white to use is FE, FE, FE. You can see how it's still way up in that corner and looks almost white. You can, of course, use any off-white as long as it's further towards color than it is towards white. For example, I used a slightly more blue for my white. If we check out this color, it's F2, FB, FF. You can see how it's more towards the blue than it is towards the white. So as long as it's an off-white, it'll print. And just like the other example, anything that's transparent won't print anything. Here's another example, but for our printed acrylic dice. You see that for the wings, I used another off-white. And in this eyeball icon, I also used an off-white. It can be hard with illustrations like this to ensure that there aren't any hidden white pixels. Here's a trick to make sure that you can cover any of those whites so the whole image prints. Let's go ahead and make a new layer, and we're going to fill the whole layer with black. Next, we're going to make this layer a mask. In Photoshop, you hold Alt and you click the little line between them. In some programs, you'll simply right click the layer and click Mask. Now we're going to set the layer effect to Multiply and its opacity to 1%. This slightly darkens a layer, which will turn any whites into a slightly off-white color. To help show you how this works, I'm going to take a solid white circle. And if you say we click on it, it is pure white. If we turn on this multiply layer, and now we select that color, you can see it's now off white. Let's go ahead and look at one last example of our large acrylic shapes. In this one, you can see we're using transparencies along the outside to allow for the acrylic to be clear. And we're using an off white inside the teeth and inside the die, so that way those are printed white. Here's what these components look like when printed. You can see the metallic of the mint tin through those areas of transparency we left previously. For the dice, the entire image is printed, leaving only the outside color of the dice visible. For the puzzle, you can see the areas of transparency throughout, and where we wanted white, there is white. Now something to keep in mind when making your images is that you want to keep a crisp edge to your image. You also want to avoid anything with a gradient or anything that fades to white or clear, as you're going to end up having them print a bit like this, where the white's going to end up printing underneath anywhere you have that fade, and it may not have the best outcome. But now you're set up for printing with white and transparencies. Thanks for watching!